Welcome everyone to the Healthy Hustle today. Thank you for being here. My name is Kevin Larson. Happy to be with you. Got a question for you. Have you been feeling a little off lately? Maybe you've woken up a few days this week, made breakfast, went through your normal routine, and when you look in the mirror, you think, wow, I really haven't felt like myself lately. If you've ever had this experience, it's called being out of tune with your body. Everyone goes through this at certain levels and times, and I promise you, it's completely normal. Our bodies and minds are like beautiful instruments that often need a bit of fine-tuning. You leave a guitar untouched for a few weeks or months, and when you return to it, it just doesn't sound right. But with some adjustments and some TLC, it's going to sound great. Our bodies aren't as simple as a guitar or a piano, but listening to your body and making adjustments are essential for keeping it healthy for the long haul. So what does it mean to be in tune with your body? In order to understand that, we first have to acknowledge the wisdom our bodies hold. Your body responds to everything, big or small, that is happening in your life. It knows what nutrients it needs to thrive, helps you navigate daily decisions and bigger life decisions, and just so much, much more, right? Your body is constantly communicating with you, letting you know what it needs and when it needs it. And when you're in tune with your body, you understand these cues and what to do when they arise. Here's the problem, though. We are constantly surrounded by noise and convenience and this combination makes it easy to start ignoring the very important cues your body is giving you. And then there's the overwhelming amount of health information that's available to us today. This information is meant to be helpful, but often it can convince us to ignore cues and follow certain practices and habits that might not be serving us so well. Here's a quick example. A 20-year-old boy made a comment to his family. Isn't it so weird how almonds make your throat scratchy and close up? His family obviously protested this comment, telling him he's more likely allergic to almonds. And he replied, no, I'm definitely not allergic to almonds. This has happened my whole life. <laughs> so this food that is typically healthy and nurturing, is causing a reaction in a particular person. This is a perfect example of ignoring the body's cues. The boy simply didn't realize the discomfort was his body's way of alerting him that something was wrong. When it comes to your well-being, being in tune with your body might just be one of the most important things you can do. So how exactly do we begin to recognize these cues and become more in tune with our bodies? Here's a few tips that can help get you started. Number one, trust your gut feeling. You've heard that phrase, right? Trust your gut. It is more than just a saying. Your gut is the gateway to your whole body. It's the truth. And, and when operating correctly, it plays a major role in so many of your body's basic functions, including mental clarity, immune function, nutrient absorption, so much more. You've likely heard of the gut-brain axis, which is the direct connection between your gut and your brain. This connection essentially hardwires the two parts of your body together via the vagus nerve, your enteric nervous system, about 500 million neurons, and more than 30 different neurotransmitters. In simple terms, your gut and brain have a direct impact on one another. And when your gut is happy, so is your brain, and vice versa. The point of all this is that your gut is worth trusting and listening to as it's connected to so many of your body's very important organs and functions, including your brain. When you feel hungry, fuzzy-headed, or like something isn't right, or when your digestion is a little off, pause, listen, question. 
Ask yourself why you're having a certain feeling, what your body is trying to communicate, and what you can do to nurture your body to help resolve it. Now, I'm not talking about a pick-me-up coffee in the afternoon or an aspirin to relieve the symptoms. Rather, I'm talking about identifying the root cause of these symptoms and addressing them at a holistic level. Has your body received the nutrients it needs to keep your energy levels up? Has it received the hydration it needs? Has it received the sleep that it requires? The list of questions that you could ask yourself truly goes on and on and on. And yes, this is going to take time and practice, but it is so worth it. Trust your gut. Number two, support with supplements. We know and understand that your body requires the right kind of nutrients. In the proper amount for your body and your lifestyle to function at its best. And we know and understand that every body is different and unique. And yes, your body speaks to you when it's in need of nutrients. So what can we do to help fill these needs? Aside from practicing a whole foods diet accompanied by adequate, high quality water, we can supplement with natural superfood supplements. Now your body isn't going to speak up and say, hey, I need some supplements. But you may notice cravings for certain foods or feel hungry earlier than you should. That could be your body letting you know that it needs some nutrients. When it comes to taking supplements, it's about taking a proactive approach and thinking ahead. You're making a commitment to ensure you feed your body certain nutrients day in, day out. And finding the correct supplements for you and integrating them into your daily routine is a great way to be centered during the day. Whether you're taking them with breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack, doesn't matter. Adding them into your routine can help you be more mindful in your eating and of your health. Number three, practice daily mindfulness. Being in tune with your body takes work, which is why you want to start integrating tuning in practices into your daily routine. And the way you do that is by practicing mindfulness. If you're not sure where to start, here's a simple mindfulness practice you can start doing today. Start by sitting or lying down in a comfortable position and take five deep breaths. Be aware of your breath moving through your lungs. Notice the sensation you feel during your breaths in your feet. Next, be aware of the sensation in your legs and continue to move your awareness up your body as you breathe. Feel your upper legs, your hips, lower torso, higher torso, lungs, hands, arms, shoulders, neck, and lastly, of course, your head. Your mind is bound to wander during this exercise. That's fine. When that occurs, gently bring your mind back to the last part you were at. And then finish this exercise by feeling your body as a whole. You can make this exercise last as long as you need. After you finish, ask yourself a couple of questions. Did I notice anything that I haven't noticed before? Do I feel more or less connected with my body? What emotions, if any, did I feel in my body? Give yourself time every day to feel and acknowledge what your body is telling you. The more you practice this, the easier it will be to recognize your body's cues during and outside of this activity. Being in tune with your body is a huge step in both your mindfulness and wellness journey. It'll open doors to understanding your body and mind on a deeper and more intimate level. When life seems to go off course or goals are seeming to fly by, you'll be able to be grounded in what you know yourself. Thank you for joining me today on today's Healthy Hustle. It was a great one. We will talk to you again next time. Bye-bye.